Hi everyone, I hope the audio is fine. And today we'll continue with the UEC Math Paper 2. Okay, so for the Paper 2, they have two sections, Section A and Section B. Section A, they have 20 marks, which have five questions, then you have to answer all of them. Then for Section B, they have seven questions, and you choose four to answer. Okay, just, just like your SPM, Math, and MF, you can choose the question that you are confident with. So we'll start now. The first question is actually your PT3 math. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. Okay, so the first thing we can do is we can actually factor out the 2 from this part, right? So that later we can cancel out with the x squared minus 1 on the other side. Okay, so yeah, x3, x squared plus 2. Then over, you factor out the 2. Then you have x squared minus 1 equals to x squared plus 2. 3 over x squared minus 1. And now you multiply both sides by 2 so that you can you can cancel out this 2 and this 2. 3x squared plus 2 over x squared minus 1 equals 2. This one you multiply inside, you have a 2x squared plus 6 over x squared minus 1. Okay. And now you can uh, multiply with x squared minus 1. Okay. This and this can cancel, this and that can cancel. Then we have 3x squared, this one bring to the other side, minus 2x squared, plus 2, minus 6, equals to 0. Then we can have a quadratic equation, right? Okay, so we have uh, x squared minus 4 is equal to 0. And you can use your calculator, or this one, is actually you can do it directly. x squared will be equal to 4, so x will be plus minus 2. Okay, and this is the answer. Question number two. It's a trigonometry, uh, no, trigonometry question. You're uh, for four men. Okay. Okay. Diagram one show a man observing an opposite building. Um, so the building should be here. Okay, this is your building. Where the angle of elevation to the roof, okay, angle of elevation, sorry, the angle of elevation is this angle here, is 30 degrees. And the angle of depression to the ground is 45 degrees. The man is standing here. Okay. If the distance between the office and the opposite building is 60, 60 meters, means this one is also 60. Okay. This length is also 60. Then find the height. Okay. What is the height of this building? So it's actually pretty straightforward. Um, but I think we split it into two parts. Okay. Okay. Maybe this one is a, this is an X. Then this one is y okay then we just form two simple right triangle okay uh, this uh, right triangle here then we can do the trigonometry okay then for the red triangle red tri uh this is a right triangle yeah right triangle you have 30 degrees here this is your x and you know this is 60 okay and now i want to find x right then we can just use the um, trigonometry okay so this is your opposite this is your adjacent remember toa ka so so we will use toa tangent 30 degrees is equals to opposite over adjacent okay so x will be equals to x will be tangent uh, 60 times 60 times tangent 30 degrees. And remember from yesterday, the table, how you remember for tangent is 1 over root 3, 1 and root 3. So this will be equal to 60 times 1 over root 3. Then you can just pass your calculator for this. Okay, so it is 60 divided by square root 3. Okay. It's a 20 root 3. Okay, then for the green color part here, okay, this part here, your right angle is here, this is your y, this is your 45 degrees. Sorry for the bad drawing, yeah. Anyway, then again, this is your 60 meters. So now, 60 is your adjacent, then this is your opposite. So again, we'll use tangent, okay, tangent 45. 
45 degrees will be equals to opposite over adjacent. Okay. Then y will be equals to 60 times tangent 45 degrees. Again, tangent 45 is 1. So it's 60 times 1. But don't forget uh, your your answer, your final answer should be h. Okay. And h is h is equals to x plus y. So it's 20 root 3 plus 60. And you can just press your calculator. Okay. We already have 20 root 3, then plus with 60. So the answer is 94.64. 94.64. Okay, Did the question say anything? Yeah, I think you should it should be fine if you leave it uh four significant figure or you can leave it maybe one more to something. Okay. Answer. Okay. Okay. The third question. Okay, given that we have three coordinates A, B, and C. If A, B, and C are collinear, find K. What is the meaning of collinear? You see, 在同一条直线上, collinear. They are on the same straight line. And maybe the diagram not drawn together. A, B, and C are on the same straight line. What is the meaning of on the same straight line? Number one, they have the same equation. Same equation means they have the same slope, which is same gradient, and same y-intercept. Okay? And number two, if they are collinear, just think about it. The area of it, the area of the straight line should be equals to zero. Okay? So area should be equals to zero. So we can use these two properties to find the value of k. Okay, so let's try, maybe I will use the gradient, it's the easiest one. If not area, you have to use the shoeless formula. Okay, this one is very troublesome. So that equals to zero. It's very troublesome. Okay. Then, okay, so we will use the same gradient properties. So MAB is equals to MBC. And the formula for gradient is y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. So it should be, okay, let's start with a b, 0 minus minus 2. Then 3 minus 0 is equals to, let's start with c, k minus 0 over 6 minus 3. Okay, so it's a uh, 2 over 3 is equals to, 2 over 3 is equals to k over 3. So k equals to you multiply both sides by a three, okay, and cancel. Then k is equals to two. So this is for part A. Part B, if A B is perpendicular to B C, then find the value of k. Okay, perpendicular. Perpendicular means your m one m two is equals to negative one. And I think you you can prove this using the tangent and the angle of incident. Okay, you should be fine. Um, when you find um, the tangent because it's tangent 90 is undefined, right? then you can yeah you can you can actually prove that. Uh, I will send the proof later. So A B A perpendicular to B C, you can just put M A B times M B C is equals to negative one. And we already have our M A B right. M A B is two over three. Okay. The M B C is k over three is equals to negative one. Am I right? This, this is your MAB, right? So it's a 2 over 3. Then MBC is K over 3. Okay, right. okay. So you have uh, 2K over 9 is equal to negative 1. So K should be, you multiply both sides by 9. Okay. okay. You multiply both sides by 9. So it is a negative 9. Then you multiply both side by 1 over 2, you multiply both side by 1 over 2, these 2 and 2 can cancel, so it is negative 9 over 2, so this is for, okay, question number 4, oh, it's an index question, okay, table 1 shows the price of 4 souvenir ABCD, 2011-2016, weight attached price index, okay, where 2011 is the best year, Find the value of x and y. So this one is pretty straightforward. Okay, I think I will do it here for part A. Yeah? So um x is here, item A. So um 
the price of on 2016 over price times 2011 times 100 will be the price index which is 120 okay so p16 is the x and p11 is 15 equals to 120 times over 100 so x should be 120 over 100 times 15 okay then if you don't want to make careless mistake then you can just directly use your calculator okay it's a 120 over 100 times 15 okay so it's an 18 it's your x then y y um where is y y is here so it's the refer to item c make sure you don't take the price index of of b yeah or d okay it's this one okay so again p16 over p11 times 100 equals to 1 to 5 p16 is 15 over y is equals to 1 to 5 over 100 Okay, so to make our life easier, we'll just take the reciprocal on both sides. So y over 15 is equal to 1, 100 over 100 over 1, 2, 5. So y, y should be 100 over 1, 2, 5 times 15. Then press calculator. 100 over 1, 2, 5 times 15 times 15 then you get a 12 so x is 18 okay, x is 18 y equals to 12 okay so that's it okay question b find the composite index of 2016 where 2011 is the best year okay so yeah very straightforward okay your composite index on 16 is equals to you just multiply the weight attach with the price index. So it's a 50 times 120 plus 40 times 110 plus 50 times 125 plus 60 times 115 over total weightage. 50 plus 40 plus 50 plus 60. Okay, then you press calculator carefully. Make sure you don't key in wrongly. Yeah? Okay. So it's a fraction 50 times 120 plus 40 times 110 plus 50 times 125 plus 60 times 115 over 50 plus 40 plus 50 plus 60. So the answer is 117.75. 117.75. Seven five. Clear? Clear? Then we go to the last question in this section. Oh, it's an integration question. Okay, so integrate from negative 1 to a, 2x plus 3 dx minus. We will integrate from a to negative 1, x plus 3 dx. Okay, first of all, you need to notice something. Okay, do you see that the lower boundary, uh, the lower limit of this integral is the upper limit of this integral and the upper limit of this integral is the lower limit of this integral so if we want to combine it later to make our life easier we can actually just convert this one so that the, it has the same upper and lower li limit as the first integral okay so how should we do that we know that by definition okay this is something okay you can just revise yeah if you have integral of a to b of fx dx is equals is actually equals to the negative version the negative version of you integrate from b to a fx dx okay so we can just convert this one so that we integrate from negative 1 to a or you can convert the first part so that you integrate from a to negative 1 it doesn't matter okay so anyway this one will be equals to integrate from negative 1 to a, 2x plus 3 dx, then minus, okay, minus, okay, minus. Integrate from negative 1 to a, x plus 3 dx, okay. Then, next step, okay, maybe we do one more, yeah, 2x plus 3 dx plus negative 1a, x plus 3 dx, 
then we can use the sum rule of integrate integral okay integrate from negative 1 to a 2x plus 3 plus x plus 3 dx okay so it's integral from negative 1 to a 2x plus x is 3x 3 plus 3 is 6 dx okay. then you in okay so you can directly integrate for integration is power plus 1 divided by new power okay power plus 1 divided by new power so it is 3x squared over 2 plus 6x from negative 1 to 8. Then you just sub in your upper and lower limit. Okay, so your upper limit is 8. So it's a 3a squared over 2 plus 6a plus 6a. Then minus, it's a minus, yeah? Remember it's a minus. Okay, minus. Uh, you better put a bracket here. Okay, so 3 times negative 1 square over 2 plus 6 times negative 1. Okay, then you have 3a square over 2 plus 6a. You can't simplify this anymore. Okay, so it's a minus negative 1. You square it, become a positive 1. Times 3 is positive 3 over 2. Then remember, you negative this one, yeah? Negative, negative become positive. So it's a positive 6. And last but not least, this part here, okay, 3a squared plus 2 plus 6a. This one is negative 1, uh, 3 over 2. So 6 minus 3 over 2 should be a uh, 9 over, positive 9 over 2. Okay. And that's the answer. By the way, this one is a. Okay, so I think we'll take a break now.